Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the different video adapter ports. Now these ports are typically found in computers, monitors, TVs, and various video equipment. So the first one we're going to talk about is the VGA port, which stands for Video Graphics Array. Now this is an older port that's been around for a while. In fact, it's been around since 1987. The VGA port has 15 pins divided into three rows and it only carries analog data. And because it only carries analog data, the quality of the video may degrade at higher resolutions and longer cable lengths. And the end adapter will typically have a blue color. The VGA port was used on the now extinct bulky CRT monitors but you can still find VGA ports on some new equipment, such as new LCD monitors. But as I stated before, the VGA is an old design and is slowly being phased out in favor of more modern designs. And the next video port is called DVI, which stands for Digital Visual Interface. The DVI port has succeeded the VGA port. It was developed in 1999 and it was designed to provide uncompressed high quality video to LCD monitors. Now there are three different versions of a DVI standard. There's DVI-A, where the A stands for analog, and this is used to send only analog signals. There's DVI-D, where the D stands for digital, and this is used to send only digital signals. And there's also DVI-I, where the I stands for integrated. Now this is used to send both analog and digital signals. Now on the ports that are able to send digital signals, which would be the DVI-D and DVI-I, there are two different options in the DVI standard. There is single link and dual link. Now the difference is that dual link has six extra pins. And these pins are what allows for a higher resolution than single link. Dual Link DVI doubles the video bandwidth, which has a max resolution of 2560 by 1600, whereas Single Link DVI has a max resolution of 1920 by 1200. And the DVI end adapter will typically have a white color. Another type of video port is called HDMI, which stands for a High Definition Multimedia Interface. HDMI has a broad range of use in electronic products such as TVs, monitors, laptops, mobile devices, and so on. It is in fact the dominant video port that is used today. It was developed in 2002 and it was designed for transmitting uncompressed video and audio digital data through a single cable. HDMI is one of the best standards for high definition in consumer electronics, delivering crystal clear video as well as audio. But in 2009, HDMI 1.4 was released, and it added another channel to HDMI for data, which has the capability of network communication. So the connected devices that use this feature will give HDMI the ability to send and receive data at 100 megabits per second Ethernet. So in addition to video and audio on a single cable, the HDMI cable will have another ability of Ethernet networking. But also with HDMI 1.4, it also added support for 4K video at 30 Hz. And in 2017, HDMI 2.1 was released, which added support for higher resolution and refresh rates, with support for 4K video at 120Hz and 8K video at 60Hz. And it can also support a max resolution of 10K for commercial audiovisual systems and specialty usages. And there's also the DisplayPort. The DisplayPort debuted in 2006 and it was developed by VISA, which stands for the Video Electronics Standard Association. The DisplayPort was primarily designed to be used for video, but in addition to video, it can also be used to carry USB and audio data as well. It's a high-performance interface 
that is meant to replace the older VGA and DVI interfaces. And it can also connect by using adapters to the older DVI, VGA, and HDMI ports. One of the main advantages that it has over HDMI is that it has multi-monitor capabilities. The DisplayPort allows you to use multiple monitors by connecting them in a daisy chain configuration. So for example, if you wanted to use three monitors on your computer, you would connect a cable from the display port on your computer and the other end to the first monitor. Then the first monitor would connect directly to the second monitor. And then the second monitor would connect to the third monitor. So now you'll have three working monitors while using only one display port on your computer. And this is why the display port is more focused for computer use than for other equipment such as televisions. Another advantage that DisplayPort has over HDMI is that it has a locking mechanism that keeps the cable locked in place, whereas HDMI does not have a locking mechanism. And also, unlike HDMI, DisplayPort is a royalty-free product. And in March of 2016, DisplayPort 1.4 was released which has a max resolution of 8K at 60 Hz. And the last port we're going to talk about is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a high-speed technology interface that outputs one serial signal from a combination of PCI Express and the DisplayPort. Thunderbolt is not just for connecting video, but it's also used for attaching other external peripherals as well. In fact, it can daisy chain up to six devices. Thunderbolt was released in 2011 and was mainly used in Apple products. And now it has become available to PCs. Now there are three different versions of Thunderbolt. Versions 1 and 2 use the same connector as a mini display port. And version 3 uses a USB Type-C connector.